Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 39. Um, so today's episode is something that I done in the past with a couple of other episodes as well as I blogged it. <coughs> and it's about uh, capturing a reference image as well as using the SIP prep and capturing task secrets within MDT. Um, the last video that I did, um, I was trying to customize the desktop as well as add shortcuts and, and I wanted to catch it, capture that information as is so when I deploy it, everything was stick. That didn't go so well. Uh, I got a, a bunch of my YouTube subscribers as, as well as people that uh, commented on my blog that really wanted me to actually get a video up and running to actually show them how to capture you know, whatever modifications they did um, with their reference image. Uh, it took me a while, uh, I was kind of lazy at bit, but uh, I did some research, I figured out how to do it, so I'm going to actually show you guys. So right now, i got BJ Tests, which is a virtual machine, which is my reference image. Um, I already installed, or I started installing uh, Windows 7 on it. When I got to the point to here, I did a Shift Control. F3. Now, Shift Control F3 will allow you to do it audit mode or get you into audit mode. Once the once you get into audit mode, uh, the background on the Windows 7 will turn black and you reboot. And once you reboot, it allows you to go inside the reference image as an administrator and do all the modifications, push out whatever updates you want to push out, install whatever application shortcuts in the desktop, desk, you know, whatever you want. So. Uh, I changed the background, the desktop, added two shortcuts, one to my blog, one to my YouTube channel. I installed Adobe Reader X and Firefox Mycilla, my, Mycilla Firefox. I did all this stuff beforehand because I didn't want to waste you guys time and I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. Now, <clears throat> with my research, I'm going to do one more modification. I'm going to change the taskbar to be small and uh, I'm going to try to, let's Let's add Firefox and let's add uh, Adobe Reader to the taskbar. Now, <clears throat> with my research, there is a way to copy the current profile, the current user profile that you log in with all the modifications that you did it and copy it over to the default profile. Now, there's a problem with that with Windows 7 and apparently, I, I guess it's a, a, a glitch and if you go to advanced system settings and you go to the user profile section right here and you go to settings you see how default profile uh, has a copy to enabled but when you go into the administrative account which I'm logged in right now it doesn't have a copy to so that's the problem uh, I have no way to actually copy all the modifications that I did on this account to paste it over here as you see the size of it is real different Okay. There's a way around that. <clears throat> okay. Um, I did some research, like I said before, and within the research, in the research, you're able to run SIF prep, but also run an unintended XML file. Now, I already, I already took the the initiative, and I already created the the file. I'm going to show you guys how the file is. I stored the file locally on the C drive. I created a folder called Default Profile basically give it a name give it whatever name you guys want now this is an XML file again the name doesn't really matter but this is up to you what you want I made it as make default user now if I open up this guy up in notepad uh, let's do word wrap okay so you guys can actually do this uh, missing an anchor make sure all that stuff is right Yeah, I was missing the anchor there. Okay, so this is the XML file. So one of the things that the XML file is this you can actually do it during the task sequence of the of MDT. Okay, you can actually do this unintended. You can actually create this path, uh, create this path, the specialized path, and then go to copy profile and true. I've tried that in the past and it did not work for me. So hopefully this approach right here, I'm actually forcing the SIF prep to 
use this answer file and hopefully it works out okay so I'm gonna actually post this up at my blog at bjtechnews.wordpress.com so if you guys want to use this go on my blog and grab a copy of it okay so I copy and paste this I saved it as an XML file and once I saved it as an XML file I, I put it into the local of uh, the C drive now now it's time for me to run the SIF prep but before you do that make sure that your MDT server is uh, up to go okay I created a basic task sequence as you can see and within the task sequence I disabled the execute SIF prep on both the SIF prep only portion and as well as capture the image the reason why I disabled those two parts there is because I am manually running SIF prep with its own answer file okay uh, the only thing that I want this task sequence to do is to capture the win to capture it and create a WIM image so I'm able to import it into my operating systems node and push it out okay once you create your task sequence whatever name you guys want again I'm only disabling this um, because I'm running SIF pref manually manually and once you do that uh, you want to update the deployment share okay and for best practice I like to normally go to my WDS and replace <coughs> The boot images. So I think that was the 64-bit one. So I like to replace it. This is something that I like to do based, you know, best practice in, in my part. Guys don't really need to do this, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, and I'm gonna do the 86. I'm just gonna replace the image, the WIM image. there we go then what you want to do is I like to normally do a reboot of the WDS make sure that's running correctly and that's about it with the MDT now let's go back into your reference image and now let's run the SIF prep so you want to do a CMD and you want to get a command prop and you want to run it as an administrator okay you want to get into the SIF prep folder doing a CLS to clear that out and do uh, DIR directory and you basically want to run this guy right here so I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna maximize this because uh, I took some notes so it was good to take notes can't remember everything so the command would be uh, sip prep you do a dot exe forward slash generalize forward slash OOBE forward slash unintend colon C colon backslash and the location of the of the XML file so what I'm going to do is going to go to this computer go to where that file is at and I'm just going to drag it and drop it there okay so if everything works well and I hit enter you should get the SIP prep. Windows cannot praise a process until file specified file does not exist. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry about that, guys. Made a boo boo. Uh, I got too many C's. There we go. Only want C colon backslash and that. Because I copied and pasted it, it gave me the extra C. So let's hit enter. And there you go. Now, when it's doing the cleanup and it's doing the SIP prep and it's doing everything it needs to do as well as it's actually doing what it's supposed to do inside the XML file which I'm hoping it does make sure you pay attention to F12 so you can pixie boot into your um, WDS and get into your MDT so you're able to, to uh, run that task sequence to capture it I'm hoping everything works well because the last time that I tried to catch it something I was having issues because I was low in space I did some cleaning up and I freed up a lot of space so I'm hoping I don't get that issue now <clears throat> okay so now it's rebooting and because I'm in a virtual machine I gotta make sure I'm
There it goes. Come in. Pick a task sequence. <clears throat> Okay, so um, most likely if you get to this point, you most likely you customize your custom settings INI file to bypass uh, the welcome and you gave uh, the information to the credentials to log in into your MDT. Uh, that's right. That's this, this, this is what I did right here. So that's why I didn't get the welcome as well as the prompt to put my username, password, and uh, domain because I added it to this okay so that bypasses that and it takes me straight to this okay um, now it would be this guy right here the capture OS task sequence uh, I could double check if it is so I go my task sequences right here and it's capture an image that's the comment that I added to it and I want to run this guy so I'm gonna hit next and <clears throat> I want to capture an image of this reference computer okay um, this is not a typical location, okay? This location I actually added into the custom settings INI file, okay? By default, your capture web images will normally go into your C drive deployment share captured folder. But I customized it and I actually went into properties, rules, and I added it to there. You could also, I, I know. I believe in one of my blogs or in one of my videos I added this portion into the task sequence or so you're able to add that as a task sequence okay it's up to you how you want to work it with this video I added into the custom settings I am now okay uh, I'm gonna keep this name hit next I'm hoping it works because before I was having a lot of issues so we're gonna hit begin and let's cross the fingers and see if it works out because I know I had problems again I know I had problems before uh, this is the same problem that I had before and it's because I don't have enough space on the disk it's pretty strange that this is happening and the reason why this is happening I tell you right now why this is happening um, I think it's because my C drive is not big enough but you know I'm pointing it to to this guy over here so it's really weird so let, let's let me try something out real quick so I'm gonna do a finish okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reboot this guy I'm gonna reset it oh I'm gonna where are you where are you where are you oh, yep restart the guess Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it again, okay, and the image is not that big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tell it to go into that folder, and I believe it's BJMDTSVR Deployment Share Capture is it. I think it's that, okay. So... I'm gonna let it run and I'm, I'm gonna try to see if I could point it to the original rather than what I gave it because uh, the reference image that I have is not it's not a big it's not a big reference image so I don't know why it's not working so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fix it right here live with you guys and see if I can get it to work again I had the same problem before the way that I got it to work is getting back into the reference image and um, starting the deployment manually you don't really want to start anything manually. You really want to have everything uh, click, 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 and just walk away, and everything will just w work for you, All right? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually point it to the original location rather than to the E drive and cross the fingers, and hopefully it will work. Okay, so back to this window, we want to capture, hit next, 
and we want to change this location so the location would be let me see if I could do a copy and paste see if I'm that lucky that I could actually do that with my luck I bet you I can't nope and let's make sure it's deployment share deployment share dollar sign backslash captures captures alright that looks good that looks good okay All right, let's keep it as that let's hit next let's begin and see what happens again with the same error I don't know why that's happening uh, has failed not enough disk space on the disk hmm alright 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 let's uh... let's do this let's do this uh... let's restart the gas I'm gonna restart the guess. I'm gonna let it do its process, and when it gets to the point of um, requesting to enter the username and uh, username and the computer name, I'm gonna go back into audit mode, and I'm gonna see if the XML file did copy over the profile over to the default profile, and if it did, I'm gonna try to run the task sequence manually and see if it captures it. Now, again, this problem won't happen to your environment. I'm hoping it doesn't happen to your environment. It's happening to me because I'm running everything to a virtual machine. I don't have a huge storage bin. So I'm running everything in low space. I'm running out of space. Um, so that's why I'm catching all these errors. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm really hoping it doesn't happen to you guys. Most likely it won't happen to you guys, but it is happening to me. And it's, it's a good thing that's happening to me because I'm doing everything live and I'm showing you guys how I'm, how I'm actually going around it and how I'm getting it fixed. Okay. So Okay, uh, looks like everything got stuck. I want to check something out to see if the profile actually stuck. Okay, so if you guys remember earlier when I went to properties, okay, I went to advanced, advanced system settings and I went to here. See that size of that default? It's changed, right? So that's good. That's like that means. There's a good, there's about a 99.5% chance that when we re-image and we use this WIM image that we're going to capture right now, our, all our, our settings that we did would get stuck and that's a good thing. Now the problem is is that my, my MDT server is giving me problems because of size issues but there's always a way around that and I'm going to cheat a little and I'm going to run this guy manually. <clears throat> okay? So stay with me guys, stay with me guys. This it's it's looking good. You know, again, we checked the default profile and if you were with me at the very beginning and we checked that 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 default profile was now 44.0 megabytes. So, um that means the XML file, that unintended XML file that we pushed out during SIF prep worked. Now, the next thing that we have to do, in my part, hopefully now you guys, hopefully you guys don't have any problems with this and have enough space on your C drive. Um, most likely you get it run, your SIF prep, your task sequence, your capture task sequence should run properly, capture the WIM image. Capturing the WIM image, WIM image depending on your network normally takes between an hour or so 
okay so I'm gonna run everything manually because I want this to actually work and I want to run the Windows script file which is this one right here you got two of them you want to run this one uh, double click on it get this little dialog box oh, hit open everything works well you should get the dialog box to pick your task sequence Just to warn you guys, again, I've done this and I've done this before. I actually did all this before and I was crossing my fingers that it wouldn't happen. And I did this before and I had a lot of issues. But again, I, I stress this a lot. You guys probably won't get this issue if you guys have enough space on your C drive. Okay? Me, I'm running everything as a virtual machine and this is why I'm getting all these issues. So I'm hitting next. Uh, that's I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as this I'm gonna keep it that's this hit next hit begin it's probably gonna error out I have a funny feeling it's gonna error out but I know in the past what's happened to me in the past is that if I reboot it does it it works okay I'm crossing my fingers and let's see what happens let's see what happens this looks like it's a good thing <clears throat> Now, again, like I told you guys, uh, I dealt with this in the past. This is the same problem that I had when I was testing this stuff out. But when I restart my virtual machine, I'm going to restart my guest. Okay. I am going to F12 into my network. I know it's, I know it's strange, guys. I know. Uh, it shouldn't work like this. I know it shouldn't work like this, you know, uh, but I'm stressing it out again because my NDT is lacking a lot of storage space. This is the workaround that I have to do to get you, to show you guys how it actually works. The main purpose of this episode is to show you guys how to create your reference image, push out desktops, modify the taskbar, install all the software that you want. If you have shortcuts, do all the modifications that you want, and then. Um, capture the image the way that you created the re reference image take the WIM image import it into your operating system node and MBT and then push it out to other machines and still get the, the, the customization that you did on your reference image that's the whole purpose of this video okay um, the whole fact that me I'm getting all these errors and I'm basically showing you guys all the workarounds that I did to get this stuff working hey it just more and more tools that you guys can put under your belt and say, "Oh, I, I, I saw that before. I know how to I know how to deal with it." Bam, bam. You know, it's uh, it's always good to actually see it, see it live, rather than like me editing this stuff out and then you guys think everything works like magic. In IT, I tell you guys, not everything works like magic, and you gotta really understand what's going on and basically try to get things working the way that you want it to work. So looks like it's working it's creating the WIM image if now if you want to know if it's actually creating the WIM image I kept it the default location as the E OS and there it goes okay so this process this process is gonna take a while guys uh, creating the WIM image takes about an hour or so so most likely I'm going to do um, a second part of this of this video is probably going to be episode 40 and hopefully you guys will continue watching the next of the video and I will have the WIM image already created and once I have the, the WIM image already created because it's going to take an hour or so I'm going to take the WIM image import it into our operating system node and I'm going to create a new virtual machine with the new WIM image or our reference image that we created. So hopefully uh, I see you guys on the next episode. Episode 40 is a continuation of this episode. Okay, guys? So please catch, up, please catch episode 40. Please subscribe to my channel. As well, go check out my blog if you guys want to um, get that XML information. 
and also the sit prep the sit prep command go check out my blog I will put all that information there and my blog is bjtechnews.webpress.com if you have a Twitter account you guys want to follow me with the latest and greatest reviews tips and tricks on software and hardware follow me at bjtechnews I see you guys later and thank you so much subscribe thank you